All right, boys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Based on the title and thumbnail of this video, you know we are gonna be talking about our brand new. I had to go ahead and bleep that there because if you are watching this right now and did not catch last night's video, I highly, highly encourage you, take a second, go watch that full video, then come back to this video because it definitely goes from step one to step two. You don't wanna skip steps with this little series we're starting here today. Last and final warning guys, go watch the video. We're proceeding. Title and thumbnail of this video, we are gonna be jumping back into our 1986 Mustang GT, also known as Silverback. I almost said Silver Fox. Silverback, um, I think it's the perfect name for it. And yeah, yesterday's video guys, Jordan and I picked this thing up and it is, it's our, it's our newborn. As weird as that sounds, uh, that's kind of weird. Is that weird? A little bit. We adopted him. That's cool though, right? Adoption's yeah. dope. 1986 Mustang GT, obviously in the silver, black trims, and this is honestly such an awesome car. We're gonna go over everything today. We have a folder that is slammed with paperwork because there's a lot of information we didn't speak on when it comes to this car. This thing is a three owner car, 77,000 miles. Motor was put together by Ford in 93. Obviously, it's cammed. It has, um, I think, aftermarket heads. It has a different intake. So, you know, it swapped to math. This thing has some work done to it, and uh, she's, she's pretty rowdy. These two look absolutely incredible together, though. It is so awesome. Why don't you go ahead, start up old silver back here, and um, I guess we could park it right in front of the garage because we're going to give you guys a full in-depth tour of this car. It is so awesome. Just wait till this one sounds like that. Dang, black tar sounds sick! As I mentioned, we have a folder just absolutely slammed with tons of documents. And if you saw in yesterday's video, we even have the original window sticker that's all laminated and everything. We're not trying to, you know, put anybody's info out there, but it's pretty cool because we have like the build sheets. We have, uh, what, what is this? Is this another window sticker? It tells you where it was sold to the Cavalier Ford Chesapeake. So it is a Virginia car. It's a Virginia car. That's awesome. That's really good. Um, you can see got the silver metallic two-door hatchback with the charcoal gray cloth sport seats. It's got the uh, electronic clock, rear spoiler, um, diagnostic warning module, split fold rear seats, cargo area cover, which is in the trunk. Standard. I feel like the stuff right here with the stars is all added, think right? So? Yeah, I think so because... What, what is that? Remand control fuel filler door. I don't know. Um, is that like the little button to release the the fuel hat? Maybe. You know what I'm saying? I wonder if all that sure. stuff's added, guys. If you Maybe. know, but you can pause the video, take a read at that. We got a lot to go through, but that is super cool. Two twenty five sixty fifteen performance tires. Dang, those are some meats, dude. Back tinted. in '86, you were big dick energy. Tinted glass. What? I mean, that's painted. This. What's the total price? Thirteen eight five four. Jeez, you know what's crazy too? Like all said and done, when we're done with this, I guarantee we could get that price for it. Yeah. Just think, that was wild. brand new in '86. Obviously, still a pretty penny back in the day. Is this your original like Pictures? Ford Mustang booklet? That's pretty dope. Oh, imagine yeah, if we hard. had. Imagine if we had the silver. Oh, look, just like that look real quick. That hard. <laughs> I would totally be okay with that. The silver and the red, that, that is kind of... That's old school. That's kind of hard right there. I don't know why they did that, though. Didn't they do blue, Dude, too? Look at that. that okay, so good. That's kind of pimp. Cool. This is so sick. Yo, she's kind of cute. Ooh, oh, there we are! Silverback. Oh, are those the wheels that were on the car? There she is, boys. 
Silverback, back in 86. Looks like the SVO was decked out, dude. We had the uh, equipment package, I guess 250A, right? Cassette player. Yeah, probably. Premium sound system. Here's the colors, dude. Black, dark gray, silver metallic. That's us right there. Medium canyon, bright red, light regatta. Is that right? Did I say that right? I don't know. Dark sage, dark slate, shadow blue, sand beige, dark clove, Oxford white. That's pretty sick, man. It's pretty sick. So, it's the first time I've seen that. I don't know what that is. Quality commitment, USAA. Oh, he's military then. More than likely, or family was. That's who I'm with right now. I'm not gonna show you, but this is an old school registration right here. Whoa. What is that? Uh, I don't really know. Is this the shipping info stuff? Oh, no, wait, is it the build key? paper? Part number, modules, spelt seats. Yeah, this is the build paper, I think. Maybe. That is so cool. I could be wrong, but like, look, it, it says the mufflers, unless this is like, no, because there's moldings, there's pulleys, there's the belts, uh -huh. yeah. the seats, options, recline. I don't know, guys, it's let us know. Be, yeah, is this like, a build sheet? It's gotta be the build sheet. Let's see what this folder contains inside the folder. It's like 15,000 cash. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> you got an owner's guide from 86, which is actually kind of dope. You know, a little basic uh, drawings here. Get your how-tos of everything you could ever need. Again, dude, click it or ticket. We got some coupons. Oh, dude, look how cool this is. That's dope. What if you tried using them now? Free lube, dude. Warranty information from 86, dude. Not a whole lot has changed. like. As far as like, you know, you go in there and they give you a brochure of like, hey, this is like warranty and stuff. Sure, it'll be like laid out differently slightly, but like, they're all pretty much still like that. Is this the original stock number? It's gotta be. From when it was on the lot? It's gotta be. It's pretty cool. You can actually see, this is a temporary uh, registration for the people that first bought this vehicle back in 86 and in... Uh, July, or no, August. So this is the first piece of paperwork they got for the car. That is so cool. August of uh, 86. Wow. Actually, wait, that's my sister's birthday. If she was born like, in 86. that year, obviously, but she's not. But that's still August 5th is her birthday. That's cool. That's funny. <laughs> so it's pretty cool. This is all the paperwork on the built motor. They did the SVO GT40 cylinder head assembly, the short block, um, an SVO roller cam. But over here, if you look, I know it does have the B303 cam, and um, this is like all the paperwork, there's a lot of instructions, which is funny because typically you just look online on how to install stuff, but back in the day, these are literally <laughs> preparation, in installing instructions and stuff. So this is what the text would read, you know, before going and slapping in a cam. Like, look at this, yeah, yeah. diagrams yeah. and all. This is for the manifold, right? But <laughs> it's pretty cool. We wanted to go ahead and just show you guys all the paperwork that came with the car. And, um, you know, Jordan has to peace out here, back to work in a minute, but I'm going to take you inside the car. We're going to do, you know, a whole 360 of it, inside and out, engine bay, the whole nine. Peace and out, got to head back to work. Lovely little lunch break. So, hope you guys enjoy our little walk around and uh, of silver back here and how cool it is just to go through all the original paperwork and stuff to see all of that from 86. Is, it's really cool. All right, boys, so we're inside silver back here. The interior in this car on a 10 point scale, I would say is easily at an eight. It's it's very nice, there's no rips, there's no tears in the seats, which is, again, super uncommon for Fox bodies. And it was kind of the same situation with my 88 over there, black tar. Um, <laughs> You know, it, the interior was like a huge selling point for me. There's just something about going to buy a car and the interior is actually intact and it's in good condition that just makes everything so much better. So that's one specific thing I really do look for when buying cars is how well and how maintained the interior was because it truly says a lot. Let's go ahead and show you the cockpit real quick. Um, definitely a different setup than black tar over there. You know, this is kind of the same, I want to say it's the same setup as my 82, if not damn close. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I do know, like, this all looks very familiar from the 82. And um, the steering wheel is definitely different. This is upgraded. Fog light switch down here. Headlight switch. You can see, though, like, take a look at this dash, guys. And this is something I was very impressed with. There are no cracks. I mean, okay, there's this little, 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 little crack that's connecting to two holes right there. That's it though. 
There is no cracks up on the dash, which is nuts. The dash is in great condition. Everything works. The one complaint is gonna be the center console lid here. It looks like we're missing our little, you know, clip to lock that in, but I wonder if it might be pretty easy to find a new one, source that out, but not a big, big deal. And you know, overall though, like everything is solid looking. We got the little kangaroo pop. Oh, we got some money in here. Oh, look at that. We got 50 cent, boy. Dang. Talk about a come up. Door panels are very solid. Um, we are gonna have to get some new clips. I actually just took the door panels off of the 88 to do the tint, and it's um, it's a very simple process. Just gotta pull some screws, pull that screw. There's like some screws down here, and um, you could put all these new little push Christmas tree clip type things in, and this will, you know, will once again have this fully flushed. And same for the passenger side, you know, it looks awesome, very good condition. And take a look at these seats though. These seats are crazy to me. It's like a, I don't know if it's purple. It's like a purplish color. Got the gray with the red stripe, the gray headrest, and look how nice they are. I mean, hell, even the driver's seat is in awesome condition, as I mentioned. Take a peek at the back seats, too. I don't know if these are like supposed to be purple, guys. Are they? Because the back seats don't look like that. I think these are just like sun damaged maybe. <laughs> it looks sick though. As far as the interior goes though, you can clearly tell, very well taken care of. And it's just, it's perfect. It's honestly such a good interior to start with. And um, you know, there's really not much we have to take care of when it comes to it. Let's go ahead and take a look underneath the hood here. This right here is where all the magic happens. This right here is where all the jealousy starts to set in for myself because I wish this whole entire power plant could go in the 88 back there. It sounds good, it runs good. This car is definitely stout and will absolutely gap that other car over there. Obviously you saw from the build sheet, you know, the GT40 heads. We have the Cobra manifold, intake manifold, cold air intake with the car being converted to a mass airflow MSD distributor. And you know that beautiful B303 cam and I know a lot of the dudes in yesterday's video are saying team B cam so She's in there and this thing sounds great. I want to say the car roughly makes 300 wheel on the dyno which Pretty spunky in this and you know, it's paired up with the um, I think it's called the AOD Automatic transmission. It's a three speed with 373 rear end gears and a shift kit so this car definitely, um, it, it scoots. It scoots pretty well. We're not able to currently drive the car this minute because we don't have it insured yet and it's not registered or anything and they're starting to crack down around here with, um, you know, with all that and we're not trying to get in trouble. It's kind of why I haven't been driving this one either, to be honest. So we're going to take care of that at DMV here soon and, you know, we're going to take you guys along for a test drive with this and just give you, give you the whole shebang with it. But guys, $7,000 later, we have silver back here, the four-eyed fox. And, uh, you know, Jordan and I sat down last night. We're really going to dive into this. I felt like I cheated you guys so much when it came to Project Fox. You obviously know life does happen. I got caught up in a lot of stuff. I'm um, just trying to do one thing after another, you know, with having blue two valve, Lucifer problems. And then this came along and it just, you know, the whole project thing with my dad. Like, he's a busy ass dude and um, we live like 25 minutes apart, which isn't really an excuse, but we're busy. We both have our own lives. When we bought this, I was like, we have to do it this time. We really do. This one isn't getting put on hold whatsoever. I want to do intake head cam on this alongside the mass airflow conversion so I can get it tuned up. Wheels and tires are an absolute must. And um, there's just some, like, the little Mustang logo down there that needs to be repainted and stuff. I want to get that touched up. And, you know, this car, this car is rocking already. It really is. It drives great. It's proven itself. We drove the Charlotte and back for Fox Soberfest. These two will be there next year. And, yeah, guys, it's just crazy. Oh, and that reminds me. Silverback does have BBK shorty headers alongside a BBK off-road H and then to Flowmaster 40s going out the rear. But listen, if you guys have a YouTube account, if you have a Gmail account, make a YouTube channel, subscribe to the channel, just click the red button, it takes literally a second, and after you do that, click the bell notification right next to it, and hit all, you'll get all notifications. Um, Jordan and I work really, really well as a team. You know, he absolutely loves working with me on stuff, I love working with him on stuff, and I promise you, promise, promise, promise you, that this car, is going to make a complete transformation between us two. It is going to be insane. It's gonna be an awesome build, and you guys are gonna be proud of it. That you have my word on. I know I let you guys down on the 82, so please just consider this apology with that car, and 
let me let me prove it to you guys that we're gonna make this thing sick. I know you know selling the four eyed and then buying this four eyed doesn't really make sense. I get it. I totally get it. With that being said, fam, thank you all so much for watching. If you're excited, if you're enjoyed, slap the like button. And um, I will catch you guys tomorrow, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, for another video. Go watch all the other videos I posted this week. Run them all up for me, please. And um, tomorrow's video is definitely going to be a different video that I've never posted before, which I'm pretty excited about. So make sure you set a reminder. Stay tuned for that. Follow me on Instagram, at Derek Brand Productions. But until next time, see you later.